The Skyline Grizzlies looking for their second straight emotion bowl victory. But the Idaho Falls Tigers pulled off the upset two years ago, looking to do the same tonight. They're down two scores at halftime, but driving right out of the break, the Grizz defense holding on, though, forcing the incompletion a little bit later to get the ball back to their offense. Now that side of the ball operating from, nearly from out of their own end zone. Amani Morell takes the carry and gets them some breathing room. On the next play, picking up a big chunk of yardage. Carmine Garcia finds Morell. He moves the chains and then some. A big time gain for Skyline. High scoring affair and the Grizz win their second straight emotion bowl 35 to 28 the final. Bonneville entering today 3-1, and one, hosting the Shelly Russets for homecoming. Scoreless, but the Russets are looking to change that here. Going end zone, but Bonneville's Preston Meyer picks it off. It's the Bees ball going the other way. For them, Riker Vale taking off down the sideline. He's taken down just shy of the end zone, and they end up with no points on the drive. At the end of the first half, Russets are looking for three, but the kick is blocked. It's a live ball, though. Brecker Williams gets on it first for Shelley, and he scores the first touchdown of the game. It's the Russets in front at halftime, and their defense pitches the shutout. A big win for the Russets, 19 to nothing, the final. Highland looking to prove they're the best in all of Idaho up in 5A. A chance to do so against one of the top contenders from the western side of the state with Meridian coming to town. We're tied up at 14 apiece at halftime. Rams driving here looking for the lead. Kai Callen running with it, and the ball comes out, landing perfectly with the Warriors. Their turn, and they make the most of it. Zeke Martinez to Riley Byington, and Meridian is in front. Byington banged up at the end of the play there. Fourth quarter, fourth down. The Rams are looking for it all, but Parker Bunderson goes up and gets it. Interception for the Warriors. Their defense stands tall down the stretch, holding on to pull off the upset on the road, 21 to 14 the final. Rigby looking for win number two, taking on Blackfoot. The Broncos on the move, but the Trojans' defense gets home, holding on for dear life for a big-time sack. The Trojans moving with it now. Luke Flowers, play flake, play fake, goes to the flat. A solid pickup there for the Rigby offense. They are already up a score, and now knocking on the door for another. But the Broncos' defense standing tall with goal to go, keeping them off the board. You can't keep the Trojans down for long, though. Flowers play fakes and finds Mason Burgess for another Rigby touchdown. Only one in three entering today, but leaving no doubt they're still a force to be reckoned with. Winning it 58-3. to three. Thanks to our friends at KTVB for a look at Middleton versus Thunder Ridge late in the second quarter. Thunder Ridge is up by three, but Middleton's Jake Perez isn't having it. Watch his spectacular one-handed interception. Perez runs it in for Middleton TD. They take the lead. End of the second quarter, Titans are looking to punt it away here, but it is blocked, and Middleton gets on it first. Looking to add an exclamation point before the break. Cash weeks the quarterback for the Vikings. He fumbles the snap, gets it back, though, rolls all the way out, going end zone, and Colton Severa somehow makes the play. There are two scores at halftime. No final score yet from that one, but we'll have it later tonight on our website at kpvi.com. And in another local result, Madison goes on the road and pulls out a gritty 20-15 win over Preston. we got even more high school football highlights coming your way next. Sugar Salem rolling to begin the year 4-0, winning each matchup by an average of 29 points, looking to stay undefeated at Marsh Valley. To a rainy second quarter, Marsh Valley's Cooper Bowman looking for Wyatt Marshall, who tips it, but another eagle flies in to get it. The next play, Bowman looking downfield again in some trouble. He moves, throws on the run, but it falls incomplete. The diggers end up with possession. James Chase hands it off to Tate Cutler. He breaks through the Eagles' defense and runs it the rest of the way to the end zone. The diggers didn't stop there. Abe Baldwin comes up with the pick six off of a mud-covered Marsh Valley offense. This game is mostly all Sugar Salem. They claim win number five by a final score of 57 to six. American Falls winners of three straight, but facing perhaps their toughest test yet with the undefeated Teton Timberwolves rolling into town. Teton, Teton quickly put six on the board just one minute into the game. On their next possession here, quarterback Jack Nelson, good protection from his O-line, able to find Boston Gunther downfield, stays on his feet for a few extra yards, putting them in good position for this. Nelson 
finding Thomas Husevelt, who stays on his feet here and pushes through into the end zone. The Timberwolves now up 13 zip in the first quarter. Into the second we go. The Beavers need a big play here. Nelson puts one up in the air, going for Brig Ashton, but Zach Brig is there, makes a nice one handed snag. American Falls with the interception. A couple of nice plays from the Beavers after that, but they're unable to capitalize and they fall to Teton 56 to 6 the final. Another 3 air result, the Snake River defense shows what they're made of. It's a shutout. The Panthers take down South Fremont 20 to zip. Rockland taking down Castleford on the road last week. Back to conference play today with a showdown against Water Springs. The Bulldogs showing off the new threads as the rain starts to come down. The Warriors start off with the ball third down. Rockland bringing the pressure and Stump gets home. Cody Woodworth with the sack forcing the punt. Their offense wasting no time. Teague Matthews dodging defenders and takes off right down the middle of the field and into the land of six. The Bulldogs strike first, up 8 nothing early on in the first quarter. Some more from the defense tossed to the left, but Rockland sees it coming, taken down by a gang of Bulldogs in the backfield for a loss. They're back with the ball now. Matthews finds Zach Perman on the screen, and Perman takes care of the rest. Matthews runs for four scores and throws for three more, and the Bulldogs win big. Some more 1A results up north. Mackey pulls out a close victory over Chalice, and North Gem can't stop winning. Another blowout victory as they take down Richfield 50-24. to That'll look for sports. Back to you, Misty. All right, and Joey, if you didn't get enough football tonight, we've got ISU homecoming football kickoff tomorrow. Yeah, and it should be a fun one. 4 p.m. at Holt Arena. They're taking on Northern Colorado, each winless coming into this one. So you don't want to tell Coach Hawkins this, <laughs> but it's a good shot for the Bengals to come away with their first win of the year, hopefully. Well, and you've got the new stadium and everything, right. so hopefully they can pull out the win for homecoming, new seats, all that. Fingers crossed. All right, thank you very much, Joey, for all of the football highlights.